In this video, we're going to evaluate the integral of secant of x over tangent squared of x. So we have a trigonometric integral. And if you can't see what approach to take at first glance, then what you want to do is see if you can rewrite it or simplify it if possible. So I'm going to look at secant of x here. The same thing as 1 over cosine, the reciprocals. So I could rewrite the secant of x as 1 over cosine. Now tangent and cotangent are reciprocals. So tangent squared of x in the denominator would be the same thing as 1 over cotangent squared. Simplify that, this becomes cotangent squared of x. And that would be dx. And then we continue until you get to a point where you can apply a specific procedure to simplify this. Cotangent by definition is cosine over sine. So let's rewrite this as cotangent squared then can be written as cosine of x squared over sine squared. So instead of cotangent, cotangent squared of x I can rewrite that as cosine, cosine squared of x over sine squared of x and then I can cancel this cosine with one here, and this would just be cosine here. So then this becomes the integral cosine of x over sine squared of x. I know the derivative of sine is cosine, so this suggests we might try a u substitution here. So I'm going to let u equal to sine of x and du, taking the derivative of both sides on the left side I'll have du, derivative of sine is cosine, so this will be cosine of x and then I would have the dx. And then I'm going to transform this integral then into one involving the variable u. So notice over here in the denominator I have sine squared of u but sine of x is equal to u so I can replace the sine squared of x in the denominator by u squared. And notice in the numerator I have cosine of x dx and here on the left side here the substitution I have cosine of x dx and that's du so I can just put Cosine of x dx can be replaced by du. Now I have a basic integral involving the variable u. Now it's just basic integration. I can write the 1 over u squared as u to the negative 2. Laws of negative exponents. This would be du. And now I just integrate. Just like it were x to the negative 2 dx. I add 1 to the exponent there. And that will give me u to the negative 1. And then I divide the coefficient by negative 1. That in this case it's 1. 1 divided by negative 1 is still a negative. So I just put the negative here. And then I got my constant of integration. Then once you've done the integration in terms of u, always go back to the original variable. So this is going to equal to a negative. And I'm going to put this in parentheses here. I'm going to replace the u by sine of x. Have like that. I, I could put the negative right here between the, the n and the x, but this is the same thing, plus the constant of integration. Now I could leave the answer in this form, or sine of x to the negative 1 is the same thing as 1 over sine. 1 over sine of x is the same thing as cosecant, so I could rewrite this as negative cosecant of x plus constant of integration. So leave it the way it is, or you can rewrite the answer as negative cosecant of x plus the constant of integration. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.